Eli, you turn 16 this month, and it's time that I give you the talk. Hello again, everyone. I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and we inspire. And recently, we have been hearing all sorts of verbiage about the talk. And I'm speaking about with the Black Lives Matter scenario, how dads and moms have to sit down with their children and explain this and explain that. And I certainly sympathize and I certainly understand and I certainly agree. And in no way, shape or form am I in a position to deliver such a talk. I am, however, in a position to appreciate it. Eli, that's not the talk we're going to have today. We're also not going to have the talk about the birds and the bees. My fear is that you're going to say, okay dad, what do you want to know? Today we're going to have the talk about personal development. And I'm going and this is a talk that I feel that every parent should have with their son or their daughter. So let's get started. First thing is you find yourself in a position where you want to improve yourself you got to find a way to expand into the space where you don't know what you don't know and find out so you will know. Here's the way it works. Eli, nature, the infinite mind, is here to help us. The ultimate partnership. Nature provides us with certain laws that act consistently and without prejudice. You see, there is no good and there is no evil. There are only nature's laws. As an example, an apple will fall from a tree and strike both an evil man or a virtuous one. Now, some of these laws we can explain. Others we learn through empirical observation. So how does this partnership work? Well, there are two main highways that lead us to our destination, our burning desire. First, comes the mental part, the plan, the attitude, the creativity. And second comes the actions it takes to get us there. Let's start with the mental part. Here are the rules, nature's laws, or to use a more modern vernacular, how the infinite mind will GPS us to success. We don't know everything. There is, however, an entity that does know everything. You see, the universe, he like, doesn't work like a genie in a lamp. You don't get three wishes and the wishes are immediately granted. Every day we have, as human beings, 60,000 or more thoughts every single day. Now that's too many to attract the ultimate partner. The infinite mind will be a willing partner with us if we single out a particular thought. A burning desire identifies our objective. The infinite mind will help if we isolate and covet unconditionally that desired outcome. Some tools that have been proven to be successful are visualization and dedicated thinking time. The purpose of the visualization is to send the desired vibe into the universe so that it can be seen by the partner, by the infinite mind. The purpose of the dedicated thinking time is to structurally give yourself a relaxed, relaxed platform to receive input from the ultimate partner. You see, it's been discovered that the infinite mind communicates best when we are in a relaxed state. You'll be in a relaxed state at various times during the day, my son, like driving, taking a shower, brushing your teeth, just to name a few examples. But by scheduling a structured relaxation thinking period, you are giving yourself more conscious at-bats. And the more at-bats that you have, the more hits you will get and the more runs you will score. You don't want to make the mistake that baseball teams make. They sometimes leave men on base when they run out of outs, when they get three outs. You see, Eli, the infinite mind will help you with creative ideas, but they seldom arrive as a home run. 
Sometimes a batter reaches on an error or a walk, gets hit by a pitch, or sometimes just hits a single. In baseball, the runners left on base at the end of an inning, they don't count for anything. In life, you must capture all of those on-base opportunities by recording them, by capturing them. For instance, I sometimes text myself, especially when I awaken in the middle of the night, and I have a new idea. That way, it's recorded and not lost. Sometimes, I write it down in my journal so that it won't get lost. Creative ideas most frequently, Eli, arrive in bits and pieces. So to put it all together, you must take your carry-on items from the overhead bin and combine them with the luggage that you must pick up at baggage claim. There's no delivery service from either the Infinite Mind or the airlines. You must capture your own baggage. Now once you pick up all of your necessary luggage and can visualize progress to achieve your burning desire, you must make a plan that gets you to the starting line. Your race to the final outcome will be fraught with both major and minor detours. Understanding how the race is run tells you to concern yourself only with getting to the starting line. As you encounter each detour, you simply pause and create a new starting line. Just as you obey traffic signals, pause, and restart your journey when the light changes, you use the same strategy to achieve your burning desire. During these pauses, however, you never lose sight of your final destination. Now you want to hear something great? Your partner, the infinite mind, helps you with this activity. A red light means that you're going in the wrong direction and need to reprogram your GPS. These red lights are frequently called failures by the inexperienced driver. In actuality, a red light is feedback. The professional knows that failure is just a clue from the ultimate partner that you need a rethink and that you need to change your direction. A flat tire doesn't end your journey. The successful 5% of society knows that they need to get the jack from the trunk that's inside their vehicle to remove the flat tire, replace it with the new one, and then tighten up their lug nuts. What prevents some people from returning to their journey in many instances is their lack of lug nuts, if you know what I mean. So, <coughs> excuse me, the key elements are the mental slash creative element, communication you receive from the infinite mind, and restarting the race numerous times, advancing all the time by creating new starting lines. Be cognizant that this communication arrives in many varied forms. Sometimes, it's just a mind flash. Sometimes it's an event that happens that you could neither predict nor plan. The ultimate universal partner communicates to us in many ways, but you must be vigilant to be able to identify these clues, these ideas, and you must get to the starting line and make use of the information and start and restart as is necessary to reach the end. So how do you remain vigilant? By consistently visualizing the end result at least two times a day. Once as the day begins and once as the day ends. Let your first thoughts refocus you on your goal, your burning desire. Let your last thoughts open the corridor of communication from you to the infinite mind so that your willing partner will respond to your desires. You must ask so that you may receive. I wasn't the one who first said that. It's a very cyclical process, isn't it? Visualize, 
transmit to the infinite mind. Turn on the receiver in a relaxed state. Plan the trip. Get to the starting line. Pause as you need to pause. Revisualize and then get to a new starting line the next time. Eli, when you chunk it down as we have just done, it's simple, isn't it? The individual steps are easy, but they do require grit. And because we will never end a talk on a philosophical note, let's get out there and charge! I'm Eli's dad.